indications for proper toileting. <laughs> Give us some points. What are some of the indications of women who need vulva toileting? Sister, that's why. Uh, someone who's confined to bed. Confined to bed. Yes, sister. Uh -huh. why, why is she confined to bed? Um, maybe, um, let's say she's pregnant, has preeclampsia, and has lost her vision. She and can't so, do certain things on her own, so we would have to assist her with vulva okay. toileting. So to simplify the whole thing, what? A woman with a clamp uh, who has had either spontaneous vaginal delivery or a yes. Yes, sister. <laughs> All right. The next person, the next person, Sister, you've mentioned my point. I wanted to mention CS uh, clients. <laughs> uh, it doesn't matter. You add more. Add more to okay. CS. Uh -huh. CS clients. Uh -huh. uh, because they are also confined to bed and they cannot clean themselves. All right. So you need to keep the vulva clean to prevent infection. All right. Thank you. And so somebody has delivered and has had fourth degree tear who has undergone suturing at the theater. First day, sometimes it's not easy for these women. They will have to battle with uh, trying to help themselves. So at least we have to uh, give them the first care and then encourage them subsequently to continue in that process. All right. After having these few uh, uh, women who may need, but I believe they are. Oh, hello. Hello. Please. What about women who had episiotomy? Episiotomy. Oh, you know, most of them. episiotomy. What? Get episiotomy. Hello. Come again with your question. Get episiotomy. Get episiotomy. Oh, that one. You know, the episiotomy wound might have been around the sixth to seventh day. If the wound is gaped, Hello? Uh, the woman is fine. Yeah. Hello. And so you encourage the woman to have six bath with potassium permanganate or normal saline. In fact, upon inspection, before they can do a secondary suit, the doctor may send this client to the theater, but she would want the wound to be uh, clean and neat so that when they go there, then they can cut and get fresh edge edges before they do the surgery for the woman. So that one may not necessarily need a uh, vulva toileting per se. Uh, and so, hello, sister. Yes. Please, can you also add people, clients that are mentally challenged and they cannot um, uh, keep themselves yeah, hygienic? Personal hygienic, poor. Yes. Uh, can you add that one too? Uh, you know, mentally challenged clients may need uh, a good support. Some of them may even refuse. Uh -huh. But if the support from the support persons are around, yes, you will need to do it for her. So this will help her and uh, bring relief and then prevent infection. Okay. So after the work, what, what is our aim? Our aim of uh, performing what are letting for this woman? What is our aim of performing this procedure for Adam Zoe? 
Yes, sir. Hello. To to give the mother comfort. The comfort. By immediate, somebody has mentioned yes, prevent infection, which is a key point. Uh -huh. To give her comfort. What again? Hello. Sister, please to make the area hygienic. All right, thank you. Please, do you have any letter after after the uh, my uh, three to five? Do you have any letter? After yes. yes, yes, yes. What, what do you have? Pathology. Pathology. Please, sister, to aid healing. To aid healing. Okay. Open up the So to aid, comfort, promote healing, prevent infection, and then order. Uh -huh. And then uh, to help the woman be relieved. You know, when you do the toileting, you see that a woman has got to leave off in the... Even though there may be pain, but that alone can give her a relief. A little relief from the pain, and so yeah, this is a trolley. Top of it will have a cross in a receiver, and then a surgical gland, then a solution, water, uh, and then some. This is. Okay. And so the water should be warm. Then you add your savon to it. In the absence of savon, you can use saline, warm saline, do the washing. You know, swabbing is different from toileting. Swabbing is just a cleaning. It's like when you are uh, performing vaginal examination. That is swabbing. You swab. You don't wash. And the washing over here, that is the toileting, is that you pour water on the vulva to get rid of it. Sometimes some of these women may have hairs at the labia majora, the pubes, hair, and the rest. Pour water on, and then you wash. Washing removes some of the uh, blood that has gotten st uh, stuck on the vulva hairs to clean the area up of all the debris so that, you know, blood is a medium of infection. And for that matter, we are helping the woman to prevent any infection that may uh, come her way. And so under the trolley, we'll have a Macintosh upon which I'll put it on soon. And then I have my bedpan, my bedpan, which will be placed under the woman to collect the water that will be draining from the woman so that the bed will not wet. She is on the Macintosh already, so I will place a uh, a towel and a hair, which will also protect the bed from getting wet. So when all these things are set, so before that the procedure is to the woman for her to give the consent before I start the procedure. So, and then for two morning. Please, how are you? All right. Medwife, who's one, sir? 
time on duty this morning and you delivered yesterday in the night. So uh, because of your situation, I'm just here this morning to help clean up your vulva for you uh, to help prevent the infection and then to give you comfort. I hope that I'm permitted to do that to you. All right, thank you. I'll go and prepare all my items I can. I've placed a screen around here to protect uh, us from people passing around to see so that nobody will see what I'm doing for you. And the man said, do you want to urinate? Oh, you just urinated, okay. Thank you. So I'm going to bring all my items. Yes. Yes. You look at your back, and then I'll do everything for you. Thank you. Now place a pan under you. This will help to collect the water that I'll be pouring in over so that it will not wet your soil. Thank you. And so uh, I want to remove some of that number. Uh, as I told you, I will serve the area for cats. Uh, oh, you weren't doing your name. You didn't have to get that all places bleeding. Gradually. So I'll use those to clean the area for you so that. Because the toilet when we start from inside, we clean from inside out. The vegetable cleaned first, we pour water over the water. Are you okay? All right. Uh, go in the second time and then pour our pump out. The inside will be cleaned. Then Then I'll clean the labia minora and do the washing as well. So, so uh, you pour the water on and then you clean, wash thoroughly.
So it depends on how the area looks like. Then I wash the labia majora whilst I pour the water on to clean, even up to the ties. Because sometimes some of the blood will collect around the area. Okay. So, like I said, it depends on how the area looks like. If I wash it once or twice, the area doesn't seem to be clean to you, then you continue and clean until the area is clean. Then after that, you dry the gloss. And make sure that you dry it up well before you place another part, clean part, um, at the bottom. Now, when you are done, you place another part over there. Because I don't want you to sew, I'll put it in when I get to the side, and then it's fine. Mm -hmm. Then I will. You are coming to dry. And so, please, this I'm done. You will turn your side, you turn to left side. When you are done, when I'm done, clean mm -hmm. the back, and you also turn to the other side for me. So, cleaning so, is made comfortable, and then so you see how to light the side. You know, while white toileting, you can still use your glove hands. To carry out this procedure for the woman. So the most important thing is that you soak it and then you fold and enter in to clean the vegetable down then the inside of the vagina before you come out. And you throw it away. I've mentioned that it depends on how you see. Uh, view the area. If uh, there is uh, the bleeding is so much, they mean that you have to go in at least twice or thrice to make the area clean. And then when you are done from inside out, then from the inside you come to the labia minora. So you clean the minora part, you wash, you pour the water on, and then you wash like you are scrubbing up and down, up and down. Go from top to bottom, from top to bottom. The same, you do the right, you do the left also. Yeah. And when you are done, then you come to the labia majora. Then the majora, you do the washing, point the water on, and then you clean from up 
and down. After washing and you are satisfied that the area is very clean and neat, then you dry it with another pair of paws and then you put another pad, fresh pad on the woman to make her feel very comfortable. So when you are done, you turn her inside, ask her or help her turn her to one side, then you clean the back. It's like after she has delivered, the cleaning is from inside out, inside out. And the same way, when she turns, then you fold the packing torch and then the, the sheets that was used to protect the bed from the left, as well as from the left, you move and then you make the woman comfortable. So either she will uh, sit up or she'll be encouraged to lie on the side. And then you help her out, she, she may uh, desire to sit, depending on her situation or her condition. And so if she wants to sit, you help her give more pillows for her to sit. Then if she's able to get down, you encourage any ambulation for the lochia to be draining so that uh, she will be uh, healed as early as possible. And then, but if it is, uh, she had PPH and all that, that one, please, we have to take proper care so that she may not feel dizzy and fall down. Otherwise, it becomes her own headache again. So the difference will be that this woman is doing very, she's doing well at her cleaning. She wants to sit up. Yes, we help her to sit up. If she feels dizzy, just let her lie down at the right time, at the appropriate time. Then she uh, will be held out of the bed. Walk around the bed. That will help later as early as possible for nuclear drainage. And so basically, you see that uh, vulva toileting is not uh, something that is takes a lot a, a lot of time. Uh, and the most important thing is that we want to prevent infection. So we also try not to uh, add up infection from our side into the woman. And that is vulva toilet. Any questions so far? Any questions? Yeah, sister. Huh. Yeah, sister, please. Good afternoon. Afternoon. Sister, please, can you also inspect um, when you go in Whilst you are cleaning uh, inside of the vagina, when you go, yeah. can you also uh, when you come out, you inspect the products or the amount of clots to that comes out whilst yes. you are cleaning yeah. from inside I, outside. I mentioned it. I mentioned it okay. earlier. Okay. And so, yes, that one is very crucial. You have to sometimes you go in, you see that the gauze that is coming out is coming out with some clots. Uh -huh. Yes, please. Yes. So you will inspect that. So that after everything, in your nursing notes, you write your findings and then what you did for the woman. Okay. The and can you also add with the estimation of the blood? Um, estimation. So that's why when I removed the pad from the beginning, I observed the consistency and then the, the at least the, the, the smell. Okay. And then you, you, then you can assess whether the, the pad was well soaked or it is heavily soaked or it was light. Okay. All Thank right. you very much. You're welcome. Any questions so far again? No then after that, you, you, you clean up your area and then you decontaminate all the items. 10 minutes wash. Make it ready for another use. It's very, very important for us to carry out this procedure to help the women recover speedily. To recover speedily. Any questions?